Good afternoon. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. So the past couple weeks, I've been studying several different things. Uh, I go from one thing to the next, right? And it's, uh, I have a harlotry going. I've got fig tree going. I've got different studies. Um, <laughs> there's so much information, it's overwhelming. Um, then I, you know, I was looking at my little notebook and I have one verse that I have broken down. Um, and sometimes it's good to do that, right? Just to take one verse because it can be really overwhelming. It's like how everything goes together, right? God's living word. Um, in Matthew 10, 16, it says, Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. You then be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So I broke down um, like the animals mentioned in this verse with their characteristics and um, sheep, meek, quiet, gentle, obedient in character, and a herd the sheep listen to their shepherds. Wolves trust their own instincts. The strength of the wolf is their pack. Night is for hunting and day is for sleep. They're not obedient and a symbol of pagan Rome's founding. A serpent. I've never heard of anything good with a serpent. Personally, I don't like them. <laughs> I just refer to it as a serpent, as a snake, all slithery and stuff. Um, but a serpent is a sly, treacherous person, one who exploits position of trust in order to betray it. Evil power and chaos is what it's associated with. Doves, gentle, empathetic, optimistic, peace, warm, and shy demeanor. So I broke that verse down to say, I send you out as gentle and obedient in the midst of the pack that trust their own instincts. You be then wise as those sly, treacherous, evil people in power and harmless, being gentle, peaceful, and warm in spirit. Also, it says, do not conform to the patterns of this world. <laughs> um, and then in Proverbs chapter 1, it says, the proverb of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to understand the words of understanding, to receive instruction and prudence, justice and judgment and uprightness, to give sense to the simple, knowledge and discretion to the young man, the wise hears and increases learning. And the understanding ones will get wise counsel. To understand a proverb and an enigma the words of the wise and their acute sayings. So that's just my little quick snippet for the day. <laughs> um, I just, you know, like to share that with others because um, you never know who might want to hear that or, um, you know, to just break something down and really understand what it means. And um, I have some other studies going, like I said, so I'll be posting that up soon, but I hope that you have a wonderful day, and no matter if you're on the mountain or in the valley, remember, God is with you. Have a wonderful day, and smile!